Hey guys, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back with my top 25 books, part two. This time it's going to be Independence. Um, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you get that content. Um, first part was DC, so hopefully you got a chance to watch that. If you didn't, I'll drop the link right down below so you guys can watch that. Um, Today's, let's see, today's drink is actually uh, pretty interesting. I'm going to show you what it is before we get into it. So it's um, Proper 12 Irish Whiskey. You guys may or may not be familiar with this whiskey. It's been um, heavily advertised by a UFC MMA fighter, Conor McGregor. And um, a little bit about this whiskey. It says, let's see, so it's Irish whiskey, it's 40%, uh, yep, 40% alcohol, so it's 80 proof, and it is three plus years aged, so um, for a whiskey, usually you want it to have at least five to six years, ideally, to get a nice, rich, smooth balance. And believe it or not, being only three plus years aged, it is actually quite smooth as the uh, labeling says. So uh, cheers to that. Yeah, that's, that's real smooth, quite surprisingly. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the independence. Um, a little backdrop into my reading style for independence. I like a little bit of the dark fantasy sci-fi horror. Um, some post-apocalyptic stories, and then some fun reads here and there. So hopefully you guys enjoy. All right. So in no particular order, a lot of these books, you can get them for cover price. Um, some of them will be a little bit harder to get. I'm going to be frank because it's extremely low print run on some of those, and I'll let you know which ones are. All right. So first book, Hotline Special, number one by Aftershock. Really cool read, Infidel number one. This is actually a Jay Lee cover. Very dark, as you can see from the cover. Good story, very graphic. You may be familiar with this book, Oblivion Song number one. And as you can see here at the bottom, this is not the pink signature, so it's not. It's just a regular cover, I. Um, but who cares? It's a great story. Now this book is going to be very hard to find for cover price, very hard to find in general. This is uh, Riptide number one by Red 5 Comics. This is probably around a $30 to $40 book, less than 2000 print run, and it's only one of four series. So uh, good luck finding that book. <laughs> um, there you go, cool cover swipe. Spawn number 223. This is a cover swipe to uh, Walking Dead number one. It's just one of the few um, Spawn books I actually have in the collection. Farmhand number one. Nice, uh, cool read. A guy who grows uh, organs and arms and limbs, stuff like that, from uh, growing plants. There's a current book I read that's also very low print. It's Blood Realm, number one. They're currently in volume three. Um, as you can see, it's a dollar fifty, And part of that is because they use newsprint for their interiors, so they can cut down on the uh, price. But um, also a very dark graphic read. Um, here's an image book currently going on. Analog number one. As you can see here, it's signed by Gary Duggan in the bottom. All right, let's get some next stack of books. I know Steve will like this book. This is uh, Power Rangers TMMT number one. This is the FOC variant cover. This is actually a 
pretty fun read. All right, this is a store limited exclusive. This is by Image as well. Trees Three Fates, and this is by Black Cape Comics exclusive. I believe this is, let's see, yes. Number 378 of 500. So, uh, and it's done by um, Esteban Salinas, who does these really cool, look at that, look at that skull cover. It's just awesome. Can't go wrong with those blacks and reds on there. Um, current read, which I'm actually thoroughly enjoying, it's uh, Undiscovered Country, number one. Enough said. Money shot, number one. Fantastic four homage cover. Uh, this is a book you've probably never seen before, and honestly, it was took me some time to find it. And this is Cristiano Ronaldo's Striker Force. I believe this is a one shot, and it's still in the poly bag. Never read the book, but um, thought it was pretty cool that they came out with this book. So, uh, like I said, it took me a while to get that book. So I was glad I was able to, and actually I was a big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm Portuguese, I play soccer, so it's kind of hard not to relate. All right, so here's for you wrestling fans. I believe this is a one-shot, if I'm not mistaken. It's WWE Forever, number one, by Boom. And this is just a gorgeous Raza cover. You can see there's four legends on there. The Giant, Todd Piper, Ric Flair... And don't hate me, but I cannot remember this guy's name. <laughs> Maybe somebody can help me out on that one. But really cool, really cool. Um, this book, when it came out, was super hot by Scout Comics. This is the source number one. And this is the Glow in the Dark cover. I believe this is a 1 for 20 or 1 for 25. And um, this glows in the dark, and inside of it's actually a it's a skull. All right, how are we doing? Let's get a little, let's get a little sip in. Now that it's been sitting there for a little bit, yeah, still, still quite smooth. Gotta admit, it's really good whiskey. All right. A lot of you guys be familiar with this book. This is Chew Number One, and this is the I think fourth or fifth printing, whatever the last printing is. It says it on there, the last bite edition. Um, you gotta have an Elvira cover, right? Absolutely. This is Elvira Number One, Mistress of the Dark, and that's another cool skull cover. I believe this is done by Hack. And uh, let's see, can't wait for this series to come back if we ever get new comic book day anytime soon. And this is Dead Rabbit, number one and number two. This is the original, not the Dead Eyes, the Dead Rabbit. And surprisingly, you guys can still get that book for like 10 bucks, which I'm really surprised considering the book's been recalled. Um, Something very recent that just came out, very dark and gory, by Action Labs. This is Sweetheart number one. This next book, it's uh, oh, it's a virgin cover, but um, it's not really an incentive. It's the same for cover A and cover B. And this is Cemetery Beach number one. I believe this was by Image. Comics, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very fun read. One of the few IDW books I have in the collection. This is a one of four series, and this is Road of Bones, issue number one. Next book by Vault Comics. This is Resonant, number one. 
and as that you can notice it's a cover swipe to Y the last man this book I actually won in a contest from Kirk um, mind shift comics on the mind shout out to you buddy this is once in the future number one this is one of the later print runs I don't know offhand which one it is but this isn't if you guys have not been reading this series you guys are missing out all right we're getting down to the last two books this is actually a very cool book hopefully it gets back pretty soon um, I'm just gonna just put it out there all right horror comics number one by Antarctic Press very very graphic very gory it's about an ice cream man and he um, kills people grinds up the bodies turns it into the ice cream enough said <laughs> And the last book, it's my oldest independent book. I guess you can call this an independent book. Yeah. This is um, Atlas Comics, issue number one of Iron Jaw. Really cool. It look, you know, looks like um, Conan the Barbarian. But if you guys have not been told of the uh, Atlas Comics story, there is um, a lot of information out there. A lot of these stories were similar character profiles from like Marvel characters and this one's like almost like a Conan the Barbarian knockoff but this is also a Neil Adams cover very nice so that's it everyone hopefully you guys enjoyed my top 25 independent books if you do please feel free to do a little thumbs up and share um, the next part part three oh, three <laughs> Uh, will be Marvel Comics. Um, it is my largest portion of my collection, so I figured I'd put that last before I do my um, graded books. So uh, until next time, it's Marks with the Comics. Out.